So let's get one thing straight and out of the way right off the bat. I'm going to be sharing a whole lot of opinions throughout this video and the final outcome of what should be done to solve this problem, I, I suppose should be totally opinion based. And so I really do hope it's easy for everyone to form their own judgement with this. But I must say that with myself being neither a developer of a game nor a UGC creator, I think it's slightly difficult to fully see both sides. But I do think we have enough people talking about this to be able to see many different valid points. But hey, let's not be forgetting what's important right now. Please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you have seen a lot of these full body hats around on Roblox. You see, this whole thing started simply with one person and one unique UGC hat that we had never seen before. So obviously, with this hat being the first of its kind, the majority of people actually really enjoyed trying it out. I am, of course, talking about the one and only Tonk. That is literally the name of the entire hat and don't forget it's in all capitals, not a single lowercase letter in sight. Just straight up Tonk, not Tank, Army Vehicle or anything along those lines. Okay, so let's go Noom and take our attention over to the description of Tonk. If you use Arthur properly, you can become a Tonk and nothing else. Let me just say real quick that the type of hat this is, like if UGC didn't exist then this type of accessory would probably have never been in the world of Roblox. Basically, it does exactly what it says on the box. Like, if you wear an Arthur package along with the Tonk accessory, then you end up literally just being the tank and nothing more than that. And like I said, at first, everything was all fine and well with this being a thing. It was just a really fresh and unique aspect that got added into the Roblox catalog. I think it goes without saying that this particular hat got a fairly large amount amount of sales due to the nature of it and the attention that it was getting, which led other UGC creators to begin working on creating the same type of thing, an accessory that covers your entire body and enables you to be that object and that object only. At this point, it's definitely safe to say that this is becoming a very big trend, or perhaps it certainly seems like it's already a trend. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three hats I used as examples for the thumbnail because as you can see, I stated that that these are in fact real hats. I'm about to uphold that statement and present to you exactly what I promised. The funniest one I've yet seen is the toilet paper pack and I think it's just because it's such a silly thing to be walking around as. Toilet roll or toilet paper, however you call it in your country, I am not about to start a war. Toilet roll isn't even a funny subject, it's just sort of outlandish to be watching big packs of toilet paper running around Roblox games. And the next hat along is pretty much the same kind Kind of thing and we are without question sticking with the toilet theme. I mean the UK would probably call this a port -a -loo, but this hat sits here with the name of port a potty <laughs> Look, you've probably noticed that British people don't tend to pronounce the letter T in words, so admittedly port a potty is a nightmare to say. But that is besides the point because this hat literally just turns you into a massive toilet. I know Halloween is quite far away at the moment, but if you and your best friend ever want to do some kind of fun matching Halloween costume, then this is the perfect opportunity. One of you can be the big pack of toilet paper and the other can be the portable toilet. But the final hat that I used for the thumbnail was a bit of a rebel and strayed away from the theme of bathrooms. But this is also one I've seen be slightly problematic. And a tweet from Green Lego Cats showcased exactly that. For everybody trying to tell me that hiding your avatar's body and what they are wearing slash holding is a problem. And FYI, that is me literally sitting in an enemy spawn. See, this video is one whole minute of him walking into the enemy spawn as the box, positioning himself against the wall and then sitting there as we watch every single enemy walk past him without a single moment of hesitation. I even saw Creekcraft tweet about literally being able to play Roblox as a rock. Wow, did you guys know that the rock is inside of Roblox? Ah, help him get out. So now we've seen like five different hats that conceal your avatar, but that is not even scratching the surface. There are tons and tons of them in the catalog and they are still being created today. Look, obviously I don't mean to cause any offence towards the people creating these hats. It's a massive trend right now and if I had UGC access, I cannot say for sure that I wouldn't be hopping on this trend and I would for sure be lying 
lying if I said the video in that tweet didn't make me laugh the first time I saw it. Purely just the fact that we are at a point where that can happen in most games on Roblox, not just the one being used in this video, I, th I think it's bizarre. And not to mention, it provides a hugely unfair advantage to the person using these hats and an extremely unfair disadvantage to the people it's being used against. You know, it's not just me that thinks this way. Like I said, I'll provide as many opinions as I can find. Another tweet I came across, I don't know why Roblox allows these or UGC guys continue to do this knowing that it ruins combat based games because it conceals the entire character. Look, the fact that they are allowed on Roblox isn't necessarily a problem in itself and I really don't think they should be removed, but it then becomes a problem when the players begin using them to give themselves that preferential advantage in combat games and anything else like that. Obviously we can't keep these hats up and just tell players not to use them in that way because let's be honest it would be more useful to go and talk to a brick wall. Devs will now have to waste their time disabling these hats. That is a solution of course, you know developers creating scripts or something that doesn't allow these hats to be in their games and I've even seen a few games doing that already but the thing is developers shouldn't have to be doing that. Plus I've already told you that more and more of these hats are being created every single day and so developers are gonna have to try and keep up with every hat that they need to be banning. I don't know, it, I think it's a very complex and complicated situation and that's what makes it so difficult to solve. On one hand I want to be like hey let's just let people enjoy things as long as they are not harming anyone or anything but on the other hand for the games that these hats continue to break that kind of falls into the harming anything part of it. Oh well I suppose trends always find a way to die down and this one will be no different. It's just a matter of time before a solution finds itself. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of these Roblox UGC hats breaking some games. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.